Okay, so this is the new Cyanogen mod. Hey, what's up guys, it's KD Cloudy and the Cyanogen mod 13 is finally out for flashing. And as we all anticipate, it packs some really useful features. But with the new iteration based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, packs only a few prominent features. However, they are really worth checking out. So the first one is the refreshed quick actions drawer. It now features two pages of action tiles which are super easy to customize and it's definitely way better than what we have in the system UI tuner and the older versions of Cyanogen mod. Next is now you can double click the power button to launch the camera app. It's exactly what we have in the new Nexus devices and it's a real handy feature. Third is the most interesting one. You now have the multi-window feature in Android. Well, not exactly. The feature is hidden deep down in developer settings and it is not quite polished. I found it to be very buggy sometimes, but it's really nice to have this handy feature. Up next, you have the ability to bring back the dialer shortcut in the lock screen. This is not big of a feature, but this is something we all really missed. You also get a couple of stock Cyanogen mod apps which worked kind of well, but I still prefer the Google alternatives. But I am also disappointed by the fact that Cyanogen has started bloating their products. Apart from these, you get the usual Cyanogen mod quirks like the charging LED indicator, customizable status bars, the theme engine, quick app switching and the infamous clear all apps button. Also since this is on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow, you get all the new features like app permissions, now on tap which actually failed to work on my device probably because I screwed up in flashing gapps. Anyways, the performance has been very good. Memory issues are fixed. Everything is smooth and clean as stock Android. The nightlies get updated almost every day so I don't have any bug to worry about. So should you flash it? Well, if your phone's manufacturer is still feeding you KitKat or Lollipop, I definitely recommend it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Comment about any queries or opinions. Follow me on Twitter for future updates and I'll catch you guys in the next one.